Hi, Jeff here with Mr. Hardware. Today we're poolside and we're describing our new carbureted hopper system and we're showing all of the different components that come within our system. As you know, the main, one of the main applications for the carbureted hopper system is for pools and so that's why we're here at poolside. So our carbureted hopper system is our top of the line system and it comes with this extra large tank here and it holds over a hundred pounds of media and the tank also has a a screw lid on it which is really nice and the screw lid will screw onto a collar which will keep your media in place during transportation now the uh, twist lid here also has a vented top so you can run the system with the lid closed to keep it from getting wet by opening or closing the uh, vented cap which is on the uh, which is on the twist lid now an important thing to note too is that the the hopper itself does come with a great cart here and the cart has uh, casters at the bottom which makes it really convenient when you're hauling around over a hundred pounds of media in here so you can see that it, this setup here we have the casters in it now if you prefer not to use the casters we do have a couple feet that you can just thread in to the bottom here and you can hold it into place if you're working on uh, some kind of a slope, etc. So the cart is uh, very sturdy and I'll twist it around here and you can see on the back side that the cart does have a kick plate and this kick plate is nice when you put your foot on it you can tilt it back and move the uh, cart around that's pretty handy and then also on this side here we do have a place here for our manifold splitter and I'll describe this part in a few minutes but we do have a holder for it and it sits right here so one other thing to note too on the cart is that the cart does contain our drain snake here this is a poker that we can use to uh, put down into the uh, hopper to dislodge any kind of debris that gets stuck into our uh, three-quarter inch media valve. And so we have like three metal rings welded onto the cart and it slips right into here. Let me twist this around here and we'll show more of the features of our system. Put that back. There we go. Another important thing to note on our uh, cart here is that we do have two rings at the bottom and these rings here uh, correspond to these hooks and that's what we're able to uh, put both of our uh, guns on um, with these systems. So oftentimes as a professional you're using both tips of the guns. You're using a 15 degree wide tip and a zero degree wide tip. Now we have other videos that describe the operation of these uh, tips and why you need both but for now on this cart we have a place for both uh, guns to rest so for example I can put one here and it'll rest right in that spot there you go and the other one goes right here okay another thing to note too on the hoppers is that we do put a thumb screw on here now the reason we have a thumb screw here and not here is because if you undo these thumb screws you can pull the hopper up and if you ever want to work on this equipment uh, then if you undo the thumb screws pull the bolts out then you can twist the entire hopper up and I'll show that in subsequent videos when we're working on the uh, media carburetor. So in a nutshell those are the features of the hopper and the cart and we'll put this gun back here and now we'll take a look at the media flow associated with the carbureted hopper. The most important thing to note on this particular system now is the uh, Venturi assisted carburetor which is at the bottom here. The, the media flows through this three quarter inch uh, brass valve and the media can flow in and out depending upon whether you control this valve. Once the media is going through the uh, three-quarter inch valve it goes into the uh, the Venturi assisted carburetor and from here that is where the media is delivered to the hose now as you know the carbureted hopper is being supplied forced air generally from an air compressor which is like this and the air from the air compressor 
is being fed into our regulator assembly through this blue hose and through the unit. Now as the airflow is going through the unit, we have a gauge here that will help you to determine whether or not the media is flowing, whether there's vacuum or overpressure or etc. So for this kit here, this kit contains the Venturi assisted carburetor and the pressure regulator assembly and the bracket and the hose, everything you need to do that. And during transportation, it's very important to use the case that we provide that comes along with this kit. So after you finish uh, blasting, what you're going to want to do is unscrew these units here and put them back in the case as well as the hose. So let me give you an example of when it ships of how it looks. So what we're going to do here is open up our case and you can see the first thing we have here on top is our hose and then underneath here is all the components that you see on the hopper here. So that is the one of the main features of the carbureted hopper system. We have a great case for it um, that you can use during a transportation and storage to make sure that you don't uh, lose the systems or damage them um, during transportation. So what I'll do now is I'll set the, uh, the Venturi assisted carburetor case off to the side and we'll take a look at some of the other features associated with our carbureted hopper system. Now a very important thing to note um, with this system is that um, it comes with our instruction manuals and other documentation which helps you to understand how the wet blasting process works. That's very important. And most importantly, it does come with 100 feet of hose here. Now this is the hose, the clear vinyl hose that you're going to use to put into here. And that's going to be the hose that connects onto one of your two guns. Now in standard operation, we usually use 50 feet. However, we supply 100 feet with a carburetor system because there's some applications where you may want to do 100 feet. However, most of the times what I do recommend, <coughs> excuse me, is I recommend cutting the 100 feet of hose in half to have two 50-foot lines. And the reason for that is if one of the hoses get wet, what you can do is just pull that hose off and switch to the other hose. So this system here gives you adequate hose um, to run it in either a 100-foot mode or you can have a backup 50-foot mode. <coughs> excuse me. Now, the other thing that this system does provide is because there is an option for two guns, which I do recommend. It's worth it. Now, when you're using two guns, in order to run both guns simultaneously, I mean to alternate them back and forth, what you're really going to want to use is a manifold splitter and an inline pressure gauge. So now this will go onto your pressure washer and it'll split two hoses so you can run both guns uh, simultaneously. You can alternate them back and forth depending upon what you're going to do. Now, generally with your pressure washer, it's going to come with one of these high pressure hoses already. So you're already set to run one gun. However, what you won't have if you run, want to run them both is you're not going to have an extra 50 fit of high pressure hose. So we supply the uh, blue non-marking 50 feet of high pressure hose so that right out of the box, you can uh, connect this up to your pressure washer and you can run both guns and alternate between the two um, as you wish. So this is our uh, top of the line setup here. And the other thing that this system also comes with, which is very important, is it does come with uh, extra parts for our blast head. So for example, on this gun here, it's possible for the operator to bang these on the ground, bang them in your truck, etc. And it's possible to chip these uh, uh, fan tips. So what we do in this case for this system is we add in a, a extra fan tips for you so that if this does happen on the job, you can quickly put on an additional fan tip. It also comes with uh, other parts here that you can use to clean out the heads uh, to maintain them appropriately. And also what this system does include is it does include a, uh, a two inch nipple. And a lot of times what operators will do, if they want to work around the deep end of the pool, they'll simply unscrew this and this and put this in place of this long uh, lance. And you can connect this up and make it a very short gun. That's a very handy uh, option if you, ever, if you ever need it, working around deep side of the pool, etc. So this kit here really contains uh, 
everything an operator needs to effectively do the wet blasting process on pool tiles, stone, if you're doing construction, landscaping, marine, etc. And in those situations where you're using the heavier medias, such as the, uh, the sand and the salts and the glass bead, you're really going to need this carbureted system to drive that media further. And this system is going to allow you to work from a further distance than a standard hopper, and it's going to allow you to work with heavier media. And so, um, in a nutshell, this is our complete system with uh, your choice of either one or two guns, and it has the hoses, etc. And so, if you have any questions about our carbureted hopper system, please contact us.